Hello, in this podcast we are going to talk about solutions. So exactly what are solutions? Uh, solutions are homogeneous mixtures, so if you remember back to our classification of matter unit, a uh, homogeneous mixture means that you can't see all the individual particles, you can't separate the um, different things that are mixed together. And the physical properties are dependent on the concentration of the solute and the strengths of all the interactions among the particles of the solutes and the solvents. All of these words seem really strange right now, but no fear, we'll talk about them all as we get to them. So what you need to know for right now is that solutions are homogeneous mixtures. Uh, here's just a little reminder of our classification of matter. So if it can be separated by physical means, then it's a mixture. And then you look at the actual composition of the mixture. And if it is a um, uniform composition throughout, meaning you can't see all the different um, components of it, you cannot easily separate them, it's a homogeneous mixture. And homogeneous mixtures are solutions. We all use chemical solutions um, in our everyday lives and in our households, even though we do not realize it. But here are some common ones. So, of course, anything that you clean with, a lot of cleaning solutions are going to be mixtures. Um, the average family spends, how much do you think a year on chemical solutions? $1,200 a year on chemical solutions. So you actually use these a lot even though you don't really think about it that much. Makeup, laundry detergent, motor oil, gasoline, food preservatives, deodorant, lawn fertilizers, weed killers, shampoo, air fresheners, floor wax, furniture polish, toothpaste, mouthwash, oven cleaner, glass cleaner, etc., etc., on and on and on are all chemical solutions. So you use a lot of them, even though you probably don't think about them. And in case of an emergency, if you happen to drink or consume the wrong chemical solution, you'll have to call the poison control. Um, in a solution or a homogeneous mixture, the macroscopic, uh, macroscopic properties, that means what we can see with our eyes, do not vary, vary throughout. So you can't actually see the different components. Where in contrast to that heterogeneous mixture, you can see the different parts of it because they all depend on the location within the mixture. So some examples of heterogeneous mixtures would be like the earth's crust, vegetable soup, Italian salad dressing. Homogeneous mixtures, examples of those would be all those things that we just talked about previously, plus more stuff. So here are some terms that you need to um, come to understand. Solute and solvent. Solute is what is dissolved in a solution. So it's the thing that you're putting in that you're actually dissolving. Uh, it appears in the lesser amount. So like salt in salt water or sugar in a soda or Coke, as I like to say. Um, carbon dioxide in Coke. So any of that is going to be considered the solute. The solvent is actually the dissolving medium of the solution. So like the water in salt water, or the water in soda. Here is a picture of solutes and solvents. So you see solutes are the particles that are being dissolved in the solvents. All right, solutions can come in the form of solids, liquids, or gases. So when we talked about alloys before, um, that's an example of a solid solution. Uh, salt in water or salt water as an example of a liquid solution and then the air that we breathe is actually a gaseous solution so solutions can come in any of the uh, states of matter any of the forms when you talk about liquid solutions liquid solutions are unique because anything can be any of the other three states of matter can be dissolved in a liquid solution so your solute can be a gas such as in the case over here where you have a CO2 being dissolved in a soda. It can be a liquid 
which would be like this picture over here, acetone is um, nail polish remover, and it can be dissolved directly in water. So you have liquid and liquid. And then also you can have a uh, you can have a solid, so you can have a salt being dissolved in your uh, liquid. So any of those can be a solution in a liquid solution. Here's a nice chart that I think gives us an example of every different kind of solution that we can have. So we can have a gas dissolved in a gas. So air, we've already used that example, but you have nitrogen um, and oxygen. So oxygen is being dissolved in the nitrogen because we have more nitrogen in air than actually oxygen. You can have a gas in the liquid, which is the case with uh, carbonated water or soda. So you can have carbon dioxide being dissolved in the water. You can have a liquid in a liquid, which would be like antifreeze, where you have ethylene glycol being dissolved in water. You can have solid in a liquid, where you can have salt dissolved in water, such as uh, ocean water, salt water. You can have a liquid in a liquid, so you have a liquid, a liquid in a solid, my bad. So you can have um, liquid mercury, and that can actually be dissolved um, in solid silver, and this is uh, what are used for fillings. And then you can have solid in a solid. So you can have uh, solid carbon being dissolved in solid iron, and that makes the alloy steel. So as you can see, solutions are much more far-reaching than you probably thought.